Hey guys, Norm McGregor on Oz Ahead of Guy for our island adventure. Alright, amazing what 24 hours does. Well, yesterday we had six inches of snow and it was cold and yucky, and today it's nice and warm and we got green grass and uh, there's actually some blue sky up there. How cool is that? Alright, solar panels are clear. We're producing power again. The solar greenhouse roof is clear. Didn't die under the weight of the snow. Uh, and the solar panels are all clear. The solar power shed is clear. The wind turbine's clear. Uh, yep, didn't last too long. How cool is that? All right, guys, let's uh, talk about it's the new year. Let's talk about ways of using your land. If you own land and you have a yard, how you can use that to uh, save you money and uh, make it so you don't have to work as hard because working is kind of boring and if you live in Canada or states every time you go and get a job and you're working somewhere you're paying the government quite a bit of that money okay I'll give you an example if you are in Canada and you earn twenty dollars an hour five days a week 365 days a year or 52 weeks a year whatever okay you're gonna pay the government 30 percent of what you earn how stupid is that? Like crazy, okay? Why? Because for me to go to the grocery store and buy $100 worth of groceries, I have to get a job and go out and earn $130 so I can give the government $30 and the store 100 okay? So what I've done, I put in a greenhouse and a garden, okay? So if I want $100 worth of food, I go to my garden and pick it, and it tastes better, it's healthier for me and uh, you know what it's taken far less time to do that than go out and actually earn the money uh, you like to have lights on in my house I like TV I like to have power okay okay so I put solar panels on the roof I put a wind turbine up because what they do is they generate electricity and if you take a look at what people spend Okay, and here the average person spends two to three hundred dollars a month on electricity, which means they have to go out and earn two hundred and sixty to two hundred or three hundred and ninety dollars to pay for that electricity. They give the government a thirty percent, they give the utility company the rest of it, and they you know it was money in, money out, and they got nothing out of it. Okay, they got the heat and light, whatever. Okay heat. Uh, when Deb and I came here the first year, we didn't have our wood stove put in. $350 a month to heat the house in the winter time. Okay, Gross. Okay, To earn that to $350, I had to give the government $125. So, how much did you have to earn? $475 to get $350 worth of heat. You give the government $125, you give the utility company $350, and you got heat. Okay, with a wood stove, I spent two and a half days cutting wood, piling it up, putting in the wood stove, and that uh, $475 stays in my jeans and I don't have to go out and kill myself to earn it. Okay, um, we're doing things. Making our own beer. This is a store-bought beer because I did make a mistake. Yep, yep. Uh, beer doesn't, you can't, you, you got to maintain a temperature of, I don't know, about 27 degrees, 25 to 27 degrees to brew beer and wine. And uh, I didn't brew enough to get through the winter. So for a month, I'm going to have to buy some beer. But generally, uh, our beer and wine, we make our own. We got chickens because we like eggs and we do a lot of baking. Okay, so we've got three chickens. We had four. A raccoon got one, but now we keep them all locked up when we're not around. And uh, they produce, these three chickens produce three eggs a day. And in most weeks, it's more than we use. So if you want to earn some money, you can actually put them out and sell them. And people here pay six to seven dollars a dozen for farm raised eggs. If you want to earn money here, okay. But you do need you do need to have some cash because you got property taxes and things that you just you got to pay for cash, right? Uh, so you got to earn some. But it, if you can reduce it uh, by doing a lot of this stuff, uh, you don't have to work as hard. But if you do need to make money, okay, chickens. One, sell your eggs. Number two, if you're healthy and strong, okay, 
uh, cut some wood. It sells for $200 a cord here. It's easy. Um, but guess, I guess our goal is we don't want to kill ourselves working anymore. You know, we don't want to work the 9 to 5, 5 days a week, you know, uh, 52 weeks a year stuff. Uh, we came here to, re to basically semi-retire. And uh, you know what? We're actually really enjoying it because cutting wood is actually really good exercise. Look, the tummy is not so big anymore. Uh, growing our own food in the greenhouse, the food is fantastic. We can forge for mushrooms and berries, and there's so much we can do here uh, for meat. Uh, we, we walk across the street, we catch our own salmon, we get crab. Uh, there's oysters and mussels and. Um, there's just there's so much here um, that you can do, but your area probably has a lot of stuff you can do just to save you money and quit working so hard. So guys, you know, think about using your yard. You know, ours isn't pretty. We don't have it's not manicured. It's not full of flowers. The only flowers I have are around the door of the greenhouse, and they're there to attract bees into the greenhouse to pollinate the vegetables. But from making our place look pretty. Uh, no, we're functional, and uh, we're using it as a way to sustain our lifestyle. All right, guys. Norm McGregor on those. I had to go for our own adventure. Take care.